NASA's Orion spacecraft is built to take humans farther than they've ever gone before. The spacecraft Orion will serve as the exploration vehicle that will carry the crew to space, provide emergency abort capability, sustain the crew during the space travel, and provide safe re-entry from deep space back to Earth. The SLS rocket is designed for missions beyond low Earth orbit carrying spacecraft to the Moon and beyond. In this video we will talk about all the components of Orion spacecraft and the SLS rocket used for the Artemis I mission. Launch Abort System The Launch Abort System is positioned atop the Orion crew module. It will carry the crew to safety in the event of an emergency arises during launch or ascent. The powerful abort motor used will activate in milliseconds accelerating from 0 to 500 miles per hour in 2 seconds to pull the spacecraft away from the rocket during an emergency. Crew Module It is the pressurized part of the Orion spacecraft, also known as the capsule, where astronauts will live and work in future Artemis mission. The capsule can accommodate 4 crew members for up to 21 days. It also contains advanced life support, avionics, and power systems. European Service Module The European Service Module, by the European Space Agency provides propulsion, thermal control, electrical power generated by solar arrays, and life support systems including water, oxygen, and nitrogen. Orion Stage Adapter The Orion Stage Adapter connects Orion to the SLS rocket. On Artemis I mission it will carry several CubeSats as secondary payloads that will be deployed in deep space for their own technology demonstrations and science missions. Interim Cryogenic Propulsion Stage The Interim Cryogenic Propulsion Stage is a single-engine liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen-based system, measuring 13.7 meter tall and 5.1 meter in diameter. It provides in-space propulsion after the solid rocket boosters and core stage put SLS into an Earth orbit. Launch Vehicle Stage Adapter It connects the interim cryogenic propulsion stage to the core stage and covers the RL-10 engine during launch. RL-10 Engine It serves as the main propulsion for the interim cryogenic propulsion stage that will send the Orion spacecraft to the Moon. Core Stage the core stage is the backbone of SLS and includes two propellant tanks, flight computers, and four RS-25 rocket engines. Liquid Oxygen Tank Liquid oxygen is the oxidizer in the combustion reaction that fuels the RS-25 main engines. The tank holds 196,000 gallons of liquid oxygen, cooled to minus 297 degrees Fahrenheit. Liquid Hydrogen Tank Liquid hydrogen is the fuel for the RS-25 rocket engines. The tank holds 537,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen cooled to minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit. Solid Rocket Boosters To help lift the enormous rocket off the launch pad and send it soaring to space, two solid rocket boosters is installed. It will burn approximately 6 tons of solid propellant each second. RS-25 Engine The four RS-25 rocket engines accelerate the rocket to more than 17,000 miles per hour during the first 8 minutes of flight and can withstand temperatures ranging from minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit to more than 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The Artemis I mission is an uncrewed flight test that will provide a foundation for human deep space exploration and demonstrate NASA's commitment and capability to extend human existence to the moon and beyond.